How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Zitalon called Mirror Sided, and you're looking at only a buck on the PlayStation Store with four total stacks. This is another one of their one button games. Press and cross will move your arrow from one side of the screen to the other, and your goal here is to not get hit by any of the laser walls while not allowing your coins to run out. The important part here is the coins. Think of it as Sonic. As long as you have coins, you can let a coin go past you and hit the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, you lose. You can tell how many coins you have by your multiplier in the top left. If it's one, you have no coins. If you have two, you have one coin, etc. If you have two or higher and you let a coin hit the bottom of the screen, you'll just lose a coin and the speed will reduce. If you only have one as a multiplier and a coin hits the bottom, you lose. It's a lot simpler than I'm making it out to be, but that's really the entire crux of this game. Your multiplier determines the speed at which the screen is moving. Higher multiplier, higher speed. So if you find that things are getting too fast for you, let a coin or two get past you so your multiplier drops. Trophy-wise, you've got a few goals here, all of which you could totally get in a single run once you've got the hang of things. The two main things are getting to a high score of 5,000 and surviving for a total of 60 seconds. If you look at the trophy list, you'll see a trophy that says get a speed of 8 or higher, but that's actually incorrect. That's the trophy to survive for 60 seconds. There actually isn't a speed-based trophy whatsoever. Aside from that, you've got the usual collect 30 coins across all runs and pass 100 laser barriers, and both are cumulative. I was able to get this finished going in completely blind in just over six minutes, and the strat that really worked for me was getting my multiplier to three and sticking to it. If I got to four, I'd let a coin get past and drop it back down, and if it dropped to two, I'd grab one to bring it back up. Basically, just find your personal sweet spot and stick to it, and you'll get the platinum in a few minutes as long as you're patient. That'll do it for me, though, everybody. I genuinely enjoyed playing this. If you plan on getting this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below which number of platinum this was for you. It was number 908 for me. Whoa.